the sip. I got the sip. We're good. Stream saved. <clears throat> uh, so, hey everyone, I am a back. Like Mario, I'm a back. Um, everything seems to be running good here. Uh, got that going. Got this going. Got everything going. Let me drag my window over here so I can see my chat. Let me double check the stream. As I always do, I don't know why I don't just do it from the menu, or from the dashboard. Do it from the menu, or from the dashboard. Wow, I said dashboard weird there. Cool, well, looks and sounds great. I'm finally a legit streamer, my stream looks decent. It's been looking decent for a while, I'm just, uh, making that up. Just, you know, saying words, because that's what these streams are, stream of consciousness. It's what it is, it's a stream of consciousness. That. So, 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 uh, I'm back, uh, for a second night of this. Last night, I played the game for the first time, and I finished it, because the ending is kind of set. You kind of get there after, like, three hours of gameplay. But, uh, there's more to it, because there's people I haven't met, and endings I haven't seen yet. Essentially, time has reversed itself, and now, uh, the birthday has not happened. Also, I didn't talk to anyone at the birthday party, which was kind of uh, stupid to me. I talked to like two people and then got uh, locked into the ending. So there are two more endings specifically. There's one for reaching the end again without everyone. And then I think there's one when you reach it with everyone. And then other than that, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, finishing the puzzle pieces and everything. So it is 9.15. Uh, I came back here after starting the new game plus just to get, uh, Gentle Lorenzo. Because I didn't do his game yet. Everyone else here I should be done with. Well, done with as in I've gotten their badge. I've, um... Because they have these little... F uh, nope, that's the wrong thing. That's the phone again. Or the... Not the phone. Each character has a family badge that you could get. And, uh, those carry over. And I've gotten all of them here now. So, we are now ready to move to another area. I have done all three of these areas completely now, except for the trolley. Uh, there's a trolley character. A couple trolley characters, actually. I did two of them. I did one of them. I didn't do the second one yet. Uh, I did get this. This was originally not unlocked, so now I could go over there. But uh, I'm going to go to unsavory part of town first. I can go in here. So some pieces missing, it seems. Why, hello again, stranger. So he's what the puzzle pieces are for. You need them to, uh... Make his flyers. I believe each one is 16 pieces, so there's gonna be four puzzles total. Uh, and I don't have any more. I, I have finished one puzzle. Actually, is it 16 pieces? Yeah, one, two, three, and then four. So it's four times four is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Yeah, 48. No, that'd be 64. Oh, no, it's, so there's three puzzles. 14 plus 5. Ugh. 16 plus 16 plus 16 is 48. Yeah, so I'm missing... Uh, well, it, it tells you how many you're missing on the menu. <clears throat> His thing doesn't take up time since you're already riding the trolley anyway. Hey, buddy, your good old guide here. Just want to warn you, in a city so big, there are bound to be parts of town that are a little seedy. I'm talking seedy tough guys. Seedy tough guys who eat the seeds out of things without spinning them into a napkin politely. So just be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. Oh, you can walk in the back alley. Why? Butterfly. That's neat. Okay, got a puzzle piece. Got another puzzle piece. Find puzzles like a mofo. Hey, what are you looking at? 
Are you trying to listen to our exceedingly private rooftop conversation? Beat it, creep. We're not even talking about anything interesting. Move on. Definitely nothing interesting. Just extremely boring things. Yeah, in fact, we're not even talking. We're just sitting up here in silence. Our mouths are only moving to aerate our gums. Aerate. Yeah, we just care a lot about oral hygiene, so buzz off. We're definitely not talking about the juicy details of Slashers here's hilariously disastrous love life, so beat it. Yeah. Hey. He's a good guy. He's just not so good at the romance thing, you see. Eric. First date at a sporting goods store. I needed sneakers! And he was running half an hour late. Because I didn't have the sneakers. So still, she had an okay time. She ate his phone right in front of him, so she was sure he didn't have her number. Ugh. Scram. The moose. Hey, you got a light? No, not for my cigarette. I meant in general. It's kind of dark out here, and I've got a spooky ghost allergy. You ain't seen any, right? Wait, why is it night? Isn't it like 10 in the morning? 9.30 in the morning. If you want to get in the bar, bub, you're going to have to cough up an ID. Or anything, really. Coughing up stuff is generally an adult thing. Getting older ain't glamorous. The other night I coughed up something that was shaped like the state of Arizona. I tried to show Slasher, but he wouldn't even look. Because that's gross, Raul. Quit smoking, you dingus. Yeah, quit smoking, stupid. It even had the Grand Canyon in it. Why did that... There's like a delay there. Is that my computer? Uh-oh. Wait a minute, what's going on? I like dropped a few frames there. Video buffering, use low latency toggle to disable low latency mode. Uh, no recommended changes. I, I think uh, I think I just had a blip there. I lost a couple frames on my uh, on my thing, like two seconds worth. No big deal as long as that doesn't become reoccurring. Just like keeping an eye on it now because I don't want it to happen again. All right. Uh, he snorted, and that was that. Prince Valentino. I say there. I say you there. Vagrant. Brother, I don't think they're a vagrant. They've got that suit on. Perhaps a hobo king. Hmm. You may be right, sister. You there, hobo king. Come here a moment. Honestly, brother, what are we even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing the air outside this seedy watering hole is making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree, sis, but you know as well as I that we had to find an unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary. So anyone at the estate was out. Besides, you know how weary I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to the stranger with the briefcase, then? Yes, yes, as long as it's not someone that gives me dreadful horror of being known. Who's D... Wait, this, this guy Diavolo? That's the second night in a row I've made a JoJo reference to. Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Indeed, sister. Perhaps that pinstripe style. They spent the last 30 or so years locked in a storage closet with their fingers in their ears. And their other fingers in their eyes. And fingers yet still in their nose. Obviously... Since I released that perfume this year. Obviously. I am Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. And this is my brother, Prince Valentino. He's also the heir, since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't test for that gene, and you know it, Prince. Pat? Why, he's our second cousin. That's like a cousin, but thankfully a little more removed from your gene pool. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side, much like your personality, sister. Oh, Prince, you're such a cut-up. Much like how I cut up your innovation to meet the... Um, much like I cut up your invitation to the Met Gala this year and fed it to the cat. What? 
But the theme this year was the Monopoly mascot. And you know Mittens the Third is on a strict diet for her failing kidneys. Well now, you're going to have to be more specific. I attend a lot of events, you know. Ballas, balls, galas, exhibitions, Prince's unfortunate performance art shows. If you were speaking of last week when I walked the runway for Gill's Fashion Fishery rubber pants from Moist Alligators, I'll have you know I got rid up. I'll have you know I got a write-up in a magazine spread for highlights for children. Anyway, if you're talking about tonight, we have no qualms spilling the whole secret to you. That is, if you'd only do us the smallest of favors. You see, our beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison-related complications. Oh, they're the children of the, uh, of the widow. You know, the natural way. We're splitting up our shared inheritance, but we could really use a mediator. And someone to protect my beautiful face from dear sister's punches. It's true, I punch super duper hard. If only we had some help dividing up daddy's precious possessions. I'm sure we could tell you the information you seek. So, will you help us, or do you have Hobo King duties to attend to? Split the perks between the jerks. Divine twin inheritance. Yes. Use the checklist to assign an item to each of the Valentino twins. You can't leave until both twins are happy, so pay attention to the indicator bar. Well, let's get on with this. Daddy's not getting any more live. I'm already bored. Look at that. Look at that angular coat she's wearing. The Valentino Inheritance. Mink stole armor, hat, wine, vinyl, photo, painting, sack of cash, urn of ashes, crystal orb, parrot, sports car, the blade. I simply couldn't. My conscience wouldn't allow it. It clashes terribly with everything I own, and I'd be up all night worrying about it. Oh, cozy. Just the kind of thing I like. Warm and made of us of through the suffering of another. This would be smashing with great grandmother's Claymore, literally. Claymore is not here. No Claymore. Father's secret society hat. I'd wonder to have been lost after the SWAT raids. A fine vintage from the last year I was born from the year I was born. Not from the last year I was born. You don't want to know about that year. Daddy was saving it for when I became an admirable member of society. Uh, admirable. Good thing he died and I could just take it. This creature is vile. All it does is yell about sports teams and say, Help! Help! I'm being poisoned! Ah, but that does make me wistful about dear daddy. Bernard! I spent hours training him to eat $50 bills in front of our governess as she cried. Sweet childhood memories. Doing pretty good. They're pretty even right now. Well, it's a conversation piece, I suppose. Signed photo of the president. To be rather straight with you, I didn't vote for him or that gold chain. Perhaps I could use the scraps of my Ming Vase decoupage, decoupaging craft project. My parole officer said that I had to my parole officer said I had to have a hobby after all. Ah, father's beloved cartoonish sack of money. It reminds me so much of him. Cold, hard, and beneath my flippers. Daddy always did like to show off our wealth. Money sacks, diamond throwing parties, PJ made of two pants of endangered tigers. Or t PJ's made of two parts endangered tiger, one part great barrier reef. Daddy knew how to live. Alright, wait, if I move this. I want this purely for sentimental value. And because my secret offshore bank account is looking a little light after I purchased that chalet. Or chalet. If I wanted to see something mysterious and confusing, I'd just look at Prince's new headshots. Mother is rather into these types of things as well. You might not say iconic mysticism runs in the family like bloodlust or beautiful knees. These are mostly compilations of Halloween sound effects and screams, so yes, please give this to me. 
I hear ashes are replacing charcoal as the new go-to face mask for keeping scales glossy. Wait, seriously? This will look great, placed delicately behind me for my upcoming photo on the cover of Vanity Flare, fashion magazine for mean lady alligators. Pass, I'm already the fastest guy in ANYC. You check my online dating profile reviews. I remember how Mumsy and Dadsy would let us swing this around in the front yard whenever we get solicitors. Those were happy times. I've assigned everything now, so now it's just finding the mix. My grandmother's claim more rightful places with me in my penthouse. Or possibly my ex-boyfriend Blake, the house music DJ. Mm, this would be more of a masterpiece if it depicted something important, like me, or perhaps me. Well, my several phones could use a car. We did it. We balanced by overflowing both bar bars. Oh, jeez. That's all of Daddy's things, and I feel quite pleased with my haul. And me as well. Why I'm in such a good mood, I'm almost feeling feelings again. Seriously, brother? How pedestrian. I know. Please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat these days. I guess we should thank you, Pinstripes. I guess we should thank you, Pinstripes, and tell you about what you want to know of the, about the event. But we won't. Your reward is our smiling snoots that get out of our car before we ring the police. <laughs> Jerk. I gotta go back. We have to go back, Kate. We have to go back. Oh, I'm where. Was I wearing glasses last time? I was wearing circular glasses at the end of the playthrough. None of the stuff over here reacts right now. Uh, so is there, like, a way to skip this? Because I've already done this before. I love his little walk. It's so cute, his little waddle. I'm also a bit of delay on my stream here, so it's a little not good. Oh yeah, I remember. This is just like a, like a long wait here. So it was 91619. Yeah. I went to his website on the real world internet and we found it and his website's adorable. Also a bit worrying considering he's in biotech. So you get called to, uh, Pat's room. You get called to help Pat, like, three times over the course of the game. Third time, at the very end, is when, uh, you actually ended it.
If I'm not mistaken, uh, LOL said that that's actually the date the game was supposed to come out, and then it got delayed like two days. It was at September 16th, 2019, which surprises me. I didn't realize this game came out all the way back in 2019. I thought this game came out like this year, and I just severely lost track of time. Anyway, after you open the door, you just, you're let go, you're kicked out. Bub. I like bub. Bub rub. Alright, let's put those, uh, those medallions in. Oh, they're, they're just... They just fell in the middle. Gentle Lorenzo, age 21. Team captain of Trivia Night at the Brodega. Wow, oh, they just landed right near where they were supposed to be. Age 25, Gadfly Socialite. Age 25 was in that one commercial. Skids Valentino. Wait, oh, oh my god. No wonder they, they, his birthday's always forgotten. I didn't realize he was a direct child of the Black Widow, who obviously wouldn't give a shit about him. She was 44 when he was born. That's pretty old to have a child. At least in modern society. And then, uh, baby face Constance is her mother. Niece, okay, and then grandmother. Nana Rue is the grandmother. Okay, got it. Also, it's weird that Two-Ton Tony is, is Pat's father, and he doesn't refer to him as dad. He referred to him by name at the beginning of the game. Yeah, we've met almost everyone. We have to s not meet someone, though, in order for the... Uh in order to uh, get the true ending, or to not get the true ending, to get the second ending. All right, back to the unsavory part of town. Oh, that guy's that guy's cute. Uh, I did get a puzzle piece, didn't I? Yeah, so I could probably put pieces in here. I don't think I got enough for the next picture, though. Oh, no, I did. No, no, I didn't. I was missing one at the bottom. Shoot. Yeah, I'm missing one more. Fuel up. Trolleys need bugs, too. Very adult bar. So I took care of them. I can't wait to frighten small children with my new disturbing hat. Daddy would have wanted it that way. Chilly out here tonight. Wait, what? Something about Princess Valentine. I missed that shit. Actually, wait, I could probably catch it if I look here. Shit. Nope, missed it. Never mind. Took care of them. So we go to the bar, we go to the back alley where we can talk to him. It's Aiden. Hey man, you got any change or novelty tie-dye apparel? Wow, Star Child, I can like Feel your energy from over here. I'd say it's what's harshing my whole thing right now. But the truth is, I free cycled some really gnarly bagels for lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store. My mellow has been thoroughly pre-harshed. Huh? Why would there be bagels in the dumpster of a furniture store? Oh, throw pillows. Bummer. Listen, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket felted equally from stranger lint and candy wrappers? 
It's no wonder I got into the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. I'm Aiden. It's totally chill to meet you dot com dot org. I sort of knew someone would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant, according to, to some subforums I visit online. Plus, I own a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. Their potent energies course through me to my inner core. Which is great since I spent the last of my dosh on some suspiciously expensive crystals. And my inner core is super starving, man. Did you say Pat? He's a pretty cool guy. Kind of dresses like a preschooler, though, if I'm being realsies. My little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin, so I guess you could say we're kind of like family. Uh, so he's the other one on that, uh, on that one with the, like, the, just, that just fades out. Can't really say anything to strangers, really. No one could stop you. Tonight? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. I could actually, like, probably tell you a few things if you do me a solid first. See those suspiciously expensive crystals I mentioned earlier? Well, those little mamas are also suspiciously powerful. From just three nights of holding them, even when I had to get up to do pee, I felt mystically charged enough to accept. Uh, I felt mystically charged enough to access my innermost self. But in my tireless questing through the crystal concentration arts, I just don't have time to shower or dust my mini my pewter miniatures. Besides, bathing is way for the man to keep us down. Is a way. Ugh. There I go, like, missing one word and changing the meaning of everything. You should be sliding across the floor on a oil slick of your own creation, like nature intended. My aromatic scent keeps alive a lot of unwanted company, like solicitors and my father. But it invited others. I'm talking about flies, like these buzzing buzzkills keep harshing my mellow. They're making it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light to do it inner right if you know what I mean. If you could just swat them away from me while I'm getting my medication on, I'd be happy to do you a solid in return. So will you be my spotter swatter? Slap a fly from an icky guy. Meditation infestation. Let the flies and hornets to attack them with a fly swatter. Hornets take extra hits. Careful, don't swat butterflies or Aiden. Alright, see dad? I do have friends. Ah. Straight up Mario paint, buddy. Christ, dude. happening. The subforms are right. I have to keep going. Ah, no. I clicked out of the screen by accident. All window mode. My own hubris. I'm starting to feel the cosmos and pick up Wi-Fi. Keep going, I'm almost there. This is a euphemism for getting a hippie off. did it. I think. Yeah, I did it. Hello, my star child. Through crystal channeling and staying modestly hydrated, like advised on social medias, I've been able to reach my most powerful form. Wow. Sorry. Just one sec. There we go. Bad itchy on my back. I'm still the Aiden you've known and adored for so long, but 
a new, more powerful Aiden. A Paiden, as it were. Like how I haven't been paid in weeks. I'm so hungry. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I don't feel the human desire for food in my new astral mode. Hey, did you just hear an ice cream truck? Oh, no reason. I just like the song the truck plays. It's a real bop. No, I'm not crying. You could tell you- I can- I can- I can now tell you a bit about the event now. Oh, I- He does say now twice, okay. I can now tell you a bit about the event now, since I'm a being of pure energy and knowledge given form. But also being that's like, extremely good at keeping secrets, man. What little I can tell you is it concerns Pat for a certain reason. That's really all I could say. I don't want Lizzie to get too mad at me for spilling the beans. She's got those angry little sister hands. Even beings of pure, peaceful energy are reversed to tiny sister punches. Thank you again for your spiritual guidance. What you have done here today will not soon be forgotten. At least for the 45 minutes of short-term memory I have. Hey, did you hear an ice cream truck? Groovy. Girls, girls, girls. Oh, shit. No hidden goodies here, though. Yeah, it's noon. I got time for girls. Gwendolyn Brooks was a Chicagoan poet and teacher whose public work spanned a 63-year career. Until her death in 2000, she wrote about poverty and racial prejudice and specialized in describing the people around here, particularly the poor black Americans of inner-city Chicago. By age 16, Gwendolyn had written over 75 poems, but didn't publish her first volume of poetry, A Street in Bronzeville, until 1945. In the meantime, she started a family and supported her poetry with typing work. When her first two poems were published in a nation, nation, national magazine, woof, she said her occupation was housewife. In 1950, she became the first African-American to win a Pulitzer Prize for Annie Allen, a poetic coming-of-age narrative about a poor black girl. Annie Allen showcased Gwendolyn's ability to use traditional literary modes, such as heroic stanzas or romantic sonnets, to describe her black neighborhood. In her later career, Gwendolyn's writing took on a more political subject, including poems inspired by the death of Malcolm X and the murder of Emmett Till. She began to publish her poetry exclusively through smaller black-owned publishing houses. An acclaimed poet and an advocate for black rights in America? That's so awesome! Gwendolyn Brooks served as the first black poetry consultant for the Library of Congress. Throughout her numerous writings and teaching appointments, she always emphasized visiting local schools, libraries, prisons, rehab centers, and sharing poetry, and a love of writing with new generations of young black poets. Welcome. Please sign our guest book. I see, I see what they did there. They kind of swerved, making you think it was a, uh... It was gonna be something seedy, but it's something educational and deep. And respectful and topical, too. And sign here for our mailing list. And sign here, too. Right there. Great. I really need a co-signer for my small business loan. Default and Gale, that's what they call me down at the credit union. Sign the guestbook, or don't. Go your own way, baby. Oh, someone new. Have a seat. We're just about to get started. Help yourself to some coffee or some of Minna's famous spring rolls. Oh, go on. <laughs> Don't worry about where you sit. Plan on yelling indiscriminately. I plan on yelling indiscriminately, so all seating is within range. Did I put out enough folding chairs? Don't want a repeat of Space Fight Trivia Night's Chaos. Oh, this is all so affirming. I'm approaching max validation. Makes me want to strut out of here and start a revolution. The Sal revolution begins today. Yes, yes, I agree. Haha, <laughs> thank you, Sal. G good to see you back again. Oh my goodness. I can't believe Katie knows my name. The Sal revolution is going great. Eee! My girlfriend does that a lot. Me and my girlfriend do that a lot when we talk to each other. 
Hey, you know beloved movies franchise Space Fight Episode 7 Return of the Guy? Copyright? Remember when Bananigan Cloud Pincher is revealed to be the guy? I just feel like people really misunderstand his character. So he did some space murder, so he punched a baby so hard it turned into a diamond. If people would only seek out the extended content, they'd see there's so much more to him. A real space flight fan reads the 45 companion novels, played the ARG, and collected enough box tops to, spend, to send away for the compendium. Do you know how much cereal I ate for that? I'm banned from the Brodega now. We also, well, also because I kept paying for apples and all pennies. Space fight. Excuse me, I'm clearly trying to take notes on the material, so shoo. Cassandra, with every beat of my heart I long for you, Douglas wittered, his flippers padding across the ballroom to meet her. His lavender orb sparkled with unspoken love for her totally slim and bod and personality. Hey, hey! Stop looking over my shoulder! It is healthy to express myself creatively. Hey, Emily. Yeah? You want to go get sushi burritos after this? I know we're trying to save money, but I hear the siren song of the sushi burrito calling me. Yo, I've gotten sushi burritos on Fridays before, because I do... What I do now is, um, ever since, you know, the work from home thing started, I was like, I really want to go out and eat, but, like, I can't. So I've been, uh, just, like, every Friday for lunch, I'll door dash something, and there's a local place that does sushi burritos, and they're pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty much the same as getting a normal roll of sushi for me, but it's, it's nice to have it all conveniently in, like, one burrito. Plus, I get to say I've eaten a sushi burrito. It's, it's really nice, it's tasty. You had me at hay. The fusion of two star-crossed fools, so different from each other, and yet so delicious as one. I wonder what other tasty combos of cuisine we're missing. Like ships in the night. Pasta sickles. Er, quiche Well, a burger, but it's tacos. Two tacos. Okay, that one I'm vaguely interested in. Hey, Emily. Hey, Jamie. Am I in the wrong room? This is definitely not a support group for people who have grown too emotionally attached to vloggers, or vloggers, as they say. I I should leave before anyone notices. Actually, it's pretty interesting. I bet they have better coffee than the support group too. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, I'm worth vlogging about. I've attended advocacy talks all the way up and down the East Coast, but this one is by far the- has the best lemon square and brownie selection. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Do I have time to get another Rice Krispie treat before we continue? Climate change is real. It is. I mean, that's not wrong. Not a whole lot else going on down here. Wow, we. <sighs> Getting a little winded here. Time for a sippy. They have one. Oh, I've heard about that guy in the back. Sippy cups. Drink up, drink. What are you staring at, chump? Put those peepers away before I yank them clear out your skull. What, you think you're a tough guy or something? Think you could roll in here in a pinstripe suit not dissimilar to my own and share a passing glance with me? Well, you got another thing coming to you, pally, and it ain't nothing good. Around these parts, I'm the toughest guy you're gonna meet. So 
I don't think you could sidle into my bar and lock eyes casually with me across the room. They'll be sorry when I pull those babies out and make them into twin notchies. I'll let you guess what the red sauce is, but you ain't gonna like it. The name's Bobby Blue Eyes, and you don't forget it, because it's gonna be etched into your tombstone. Wait, on your tombstone would be your name. My name would be... Hey, just because I got confused about our society's rituals surrounding mortality doesn't mean you could look at me that way. Or look away, rather. He looked away. I didn't look at him. We're having a conversation here. Pat, that little jabroni is my first cousin once removed. Kind of like how I'm about to remove your eyes, as I mentioned previously in the conversation. Do you think the red sauce thing was too far? Maybe it was a bit too far. I'm testing out some new tough guy material tonight, so it's a bit hit or miss. Bobby ain't spilling family secrets. Unless you prove you're tough to me. Toughest guy in Alligator, New York City. It ain't gonna be easy, though. And I'm gonna make sure of that. So let you and me play a little game called Three Finger Filet. Or you too chicken. Mirror this cuckoo without getting a boo-boo. Knife to meet you. Oh no, it's knife game? Carefully watch how Bobby stabs the table. Copy his pattern on your side. Be careful to avoid your fingers. Let's get ready to move our knives. You ready for this, tough guy? It's a spoon. Homer, I told you, no knife games at the table! I'm not hitting the table! I don't know why, but that clip always sticks out to me, of Homer Simpson trying to do the fucking knife game, and all he does- he just stabs his fingers, like the game is that he's stabbing his fingers instead. And Marge is like, Homer, what have I told you about playing knife games at the table? And Homer just goes, I'm not hitting the table! Wow, you did that four times, that's impressive! But how many more times do you think you could pull that off? Oh, I'm using a butter knife now. One, two, three, one, two. Wow, five times, not bad. But let's up the ante a bit, shall we? Whoa, 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 what? What is that? That knife is terrifi- Terrific, yes, perfect for a tough guy. Uh, let's keep going. That's right, I did have that in my suitcase, didn't I? Funny how slow I'm going though. It's like this is not how the knife game is meant to be played. Also like how it sounds like I'm unsheathing it every time. So it sounds like I'm putting it away and taking it back out. <coughs> hey, not bad, kid. Got all the way to six. Bet you think you're a real tough guy with those increasingly ludicrous knives you weirdly had in your personage. But check this out. God, really? He poked his own finger with it with his spoon, and now he's hurt. Owie, my fingy! Could you put a band-aid on it, please? Oh, ow, 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 ow. Gotta blow on it. Gotta blow on it. It. I don't want to play tough guy games with you no more. You ruined it by going too far. Now look what happened. I may never play bass guitar again.
That was the definite of an all geez moment. You're a real tough customer, I'll give you that. The event is a happy thing, so leave those preposterous knives at home. Now go, leave me with my band-aid and my misery. Oh, ouchie. Don't cry, Bobby. Tough guys don't cry about ouchie boo-boos. I'm waiting for a blind date, so if you see anyone that looks like XX Gandalf Da Bay XX, let me know. They're tall, handsome, and a very successful lawyer, just like me. Keep me posted, wingman. You're worth it, Linda. I've not seen you around here before. I think I'd remember a face like that, so distinct and clearly visible. What's a tall drink of water like you doing in a place like this? Everyone else here is a more middling half glass of yogurt top runoff. You know, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, I didn't because I read that wrong. Let me know if I can get you anything, like a drink or a semi-awkward shoulder massage. What can I get you? Sippy cups. Tall Jared. Oh, hey! Didn't see you down there. Can you move about two centimeters to the right? The placement of my eyes is particularly wacky. Hey, look, DDR in the background. I'm waiting for a call, but my phone has been pretty dinked up lately. I wonder if it'll even come in. Maybe I should ask the bartender to use the phone here? Ah, uh, that's not gonna work since I store the number I need here in my broken phone. How'd anyone even get by before modern cell phone technology? How'd they send each other messages or watch videos about people drinking a gallon of milk and then throwing up? I guess I'll have to write letters from now on and film myself barfing on VHS. Just like the pilgrims would've. Dang Dancing Gators. Oh, I like that game. Folks call me Tall Jared. Don't really get it, though. Honestly, I'm not even the tallest Jared that I personally know. Yeah, let that info sink in for a while. Can see your imagination running wildly in those extremely visible eyes. Pat the Alligator. That's my little cousin. All my cousins are little to me. Even the older ones. Pat, however, is particularly small. Maybe that's why he's so skittish. Guy that tiny could slip into a crack anytime or get lost in a medium-sized mouse hole. Like a bar or, or something. Oh, you're going, to it. you're going to that too? I tell you more about it, but the sad truth is I jotted down all the deets in my phone here. But the dang thing has been on the fritz for over a week now. Ever since I got back from that ghastly Mansions of the Rich and Dead tour I did on my vacation. What's really ghastly is the distribution of wealth among the populace. And the dedulous. Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do. My phone is my life. Literally. I don't have a rich inner existence or anything. It's mostly all saved on here in the form of a dream journal and pictures of good breakfasts I had. I have some photos of breakfasts I ate at TFF with uh, my friends Tuca and uh, and Sean. Who's also part of Team Wild Abandoned, though. Follow uh, twitch.tv slash sonicmega. He's a cool guy. Um, I don't know how much of a tech person you are, but do you think you could take a look? His phone's on the fritz, it's super the pits. Ghost in the cell. Perfect. There's something fishy about tall Jared's flip phone. Investigate his apps and files to find the source of the mysterious malfunctions. <sighs> Dropped a few more frames, but nothing major. Went on the fritz a couple weeks ago when I was on vacation. Can you fix whatever's wrong? My phone is my lifeline to everyone else. Sometimes tall Jared is too tall to hear their voices down there. Oh, I actually have to move my water bottle. Alligator cell phone. Oh, it's the same cell phone. Nodies, video time, one train, what's it like out, internet spelunker, pictures, settings, calls. When I get really stressed, I watch soothing videos. It calms me. ASMR, alligator sensory meridian response. Hi, wow, thanks for watching my channel. Sorry if I didn't upload last week. I just really... I started watching one when my phone started acting weird. Do you think it's related? Do anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Is 
that the video again? It's a good one. Give me your email. I'll send you some links. It is a good video. But is there anything else I could click on? And the answer is probably no. Yeah, okay. When train? Train. You. Soon. This is the third train schedule app I've tried, but I'm still late all the time. Train. You. What's it like out? Some people like sunny days and some people like rainy days. I like the forecast when it's just like this. Pretty good. It's pretty good out today. 75. Next day, 81. Day after that, 80 fun. 80 fun! Day after that, 89. 89. You gonna look through my photos? Should I... Okay, no, I'm sure there's nothing too embarrassing in there. It's my little sib, Joni. I caught them on candid camera. Croissant. Happy people. Would you look at that handsome fella? I give myself compliments every day. It's like a workout for your self-esteem. This is when I found a cute cafe with the perfect croissant. Mm, that was a good breakfast. Oh, I'm glad I saved that photo of mom and dad. Looking good, Jared. I'll take pics of all my food, but this breakfast was so good. Who's a winner? You're a winner. Why did I even take that pic? I don't remember. I'm trying to see if there's anything in the background, but nah. Turn off the flash, Jared. Well, I would if I knew how. Do you think there's something strange about my breakfast? Oops. What was that? Did you do that with my phone? Please don't delete that one. Oh my god, if I did- that would be so douchey of me. I took that selfie here because the mirror was actually big enough to hold my whole reflection. Whatever you're doing, it's going to fix my phone, right? I'm a pretty good photographer, right? Everyone says that the newer cameras are better- newer phones are better cameras. But I think mine are pretty good already. Oh my god! You're fucking kidding me. Um, so, please don't, um, mess with this folder. I just have a, a lot of pics in here that I'd really hate to lose. Uh, I don't know what anime that's referencing. It, it figures I make two JoJo references, and then the JoJo reference shows up in-game. He's just so cool. Oh, it's Spike. Go Goku. That's free. That's that's a swimming anime. Oh, uh, listen, that's not what it looks like. The Kamadri is important to me. <laughs> Oren. And we're back to the JoJo. This show's one of my favorites. Top five for sure. Please don't delete this one. It's my fave. The end theme from season four was my favorite. This was my favorite show for a while. It's a kind of an old... It's an older show, but it checks out. It's just so romantic. How silly. A bunch of cute boys serving you tea and being nice to you. <laughs> uh, should I update my top enemies of all time rankings? I've seen every series for the show. Z, B, G, Hee Hee, and Hee Hee Kai. Plus all the movies. I used to watch this really late at night. Tried to get in real life figure skating, but it wasn't as romantic. More like traumatic. Traumatic. Something stressed. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, oh, this code does something cool. Do you have a way to scan it? Uh, let me see what it does. I have QR scanners on my phone. I can't really show that off uh, on here, though. Really, people send me messages while I'm streaming. They know I'm streaming too. All right, let's let's see what we got here. It takes you to some stair beyond the sea on uh, YouTube by small. Okay, how long is this video? Twenty nine seconds. All right, let me load that up on YouTube.
Uh, can I mute this if I minimize it? Nope. Keeps going. Music is playing over it. It's, it's, it makes it not fit at all. Well, uh, that was certainly a thing. Okay, let's uh, push that down a bit. Crank it back down. Ugh. Scratch my back. Oh, that's it. That's the only thing here. My vacation picks. Hope you're ready to relive some memories of me. Look, it's just him. Hey, my phone started up acting up after we went to this weird house. This was from my trip to Alligator, Los Angeles. It was neat being so close to the mountains. You think this house had something to do with my phone being weird? You like this one? Maybe I should make it my profile pic. I felt like I really fit in. <laughs> weird house, huh? It was really spooky inside. And no Wi-Fi! Only had two bars! Whoa. You saw that, right? That was definitely strange. Do me a favor and don't look too hard at my search history. Recent searches. Breakfast is near me. Breakfast, many pancakes. Sleep sounds. What's the best password joke of the day? Ala Google. I can't actually do anything here. Now you're just messing around. This ain't gonna fix my problem faster. Focus on my problems. Yep, I knew there was an achievement for that screen time. Uh, alright. Noties. Oh wow, just, uh, warn you, some of my noties are pretty personal. Error code 09590, a go- a ghost. Unable to add new notes, please contact customer support. See, I told you my phone was acting up. What's the 9 supposed to be? Too late to check if there's embarrassing stuff on my notes. It's probably too late. That's fine. You're fine. Three kinds of muffins and good breakfast? Tall Jared, you're getting greedy. Greedy for breakfast. Cr crisp rices, large ham, muffins, blueberry, branberry, bug acai, paper towels, cleaning spray, dirtying spray, good breakfast, sandwich bread, pea, but pea nut bubber, small ham. I don't remember dreaming about being hungry. Did I write that? I was in the woods and I was running on all fours and there was a monster chasing me. I'm at school and everyone's making fun of me because I forgot all math. I am hungry. I'm looking at myself in the mirror except my father is looking back at me. He turns at the sand and I'm holding two hams. I have fish hands and it's the best dream ever. I'm not working on a video game. I just thought these would be cool ideas for some. Spooky game about ki three kids in a bad summer camp. A cute game about a sweet knight who gets es who gets to escort four hot hot. Yeah. A cute game about a sweet knight who gets to escort four hot princes down a mountain. A silly mystery game about alligators in the city. Too much work. A dramatic game about mecha pilots fighting over the fate of humanity and kissing. That sounds very much. Uh, this this dude would get along very well with Alphys. Be proud of how much I can remember, but now it's like, might as well write it down the little computer I carry around with me everywhere I go. It's weird, I don't remember writing good breakfast. Who was it? What breakfast did they want? So, good breakfast. I am hungry. Let's 
no use. I couldn't have more noties either. Error code, same as before. Unlock to unlock to enable ghost mode. The screen. The screen isn't helpful at all. What do you think ghost mode is? No, that's not it. Hey, don't look at my calls. I don't try to call anyone either. I'm sort of really out of minutes. I only have 22 seconds left and I still need to call my grandma. Truth is, I don't remember any passwords ever. Is there anything helpful in there? Sometimes mirrors aren't as tall as tall Jared. Can you remember what, what that building is? Jared, you're so wild. Okay, uh... I can't even go back to video time now. The weather app is hiding something? Secret weather? It was just pick the most popular thing. Maybe you could um, guess? Like, if you guess the best possible password, that's probably the right one. No, that's not it. Wait. Ghost. The password. You got it. Yep. Of course. Of course. Anything helpful in there? Uh, whoops. Well, some cool ideas. <laughs> Whoa, those are some cool game ideas. I should be gamesman. A gamesman. What? Gotta fix my phone. I can't live without adding infinitely more notes. What if I have the fish hands dream again? Hey, you unlocked it. Check the other apps. Maybe something changed. Oh, ghost mode. Ah, oh, there we go. The ghost wants sexy anime. Oh shit. Where did my handsome swimming boys go? No, this is a nightmare! Get rid of it! That's what they look like. Oh, no. oh god. Next time I go on vacation, there'll be something safe like a go-karting or a nude beach. No more creepy old mansions with dark legacies contaminated by the vengeful souls that reside within. I swear! I feel like death just moved two baubles in my life, Abacus, to the left after all that. Hey, Legion, how you doing? That was super terrifying. Can I have my phone back? Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. My photos. So many memories. All gone. At least you got the haunted ones, I guess. It's nice to have a functioning phone again. It's like I'm reconnected to society. Take that. Actually looking in people... Take that, actually looking people in the eye and talking to them directly. Direct... God damn it. Thanks, random stranger. Or should I say, random friend? Aw, oh, jeez. So the call I'm waiting on is actually the caterer for the event. It's a lot of work since his family is practically made of food allergies and intolerances. But I'll manage. Thanks so much for all your help. I'll see you tonight. By the way, can you have the wheat? Can you have wheat? Yeah, we, can we get a chocolate fountain? It's how much? How about just a poster of one? Oh. I almost missed that one! Ten puzzle pieces to go. Five badges to go. Or four badges to go. There's my knife that I used before. Leave me alone unless you want a knuckle sandwich. 
Seriously, do you want it? It was the bar special of the day, but I ain't got the heart to eat it now because of nervous guts. So uh, he's clearly that that dude from from that from that series, that Sega series with what with the uh, what with the people, the Japanese people, and the killing and the uh, wrestling people in diapers. Um, and that's Daft Punk down there. Seriously, do you want it? It was the bar special of the day, and I ain't got the heart to eat it because now I got nervous guts. Anyways, what do you want? I don't really have time to talk right now. I'm waiting for somebody. Though maybe they're a no-show. People call me the knife on the account of my design containing sharp edges. And now I poked my eye out in a freak jack-o'-lantern in a carving accident back in fourth grade. And cuz I'll cut you. Out of extracurriculars, I catch you in the hall with that pass. I'm a guidance counselor for Miss Petty's new school for snobby and gifted middle schoolers. The nickname is just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. Yeah, I know, Pat. Who's asking? Oh, you are. Right. Right. Sorry, I'm a little socially anxious right now. And basically all the time. I've known Pat since high school when the seniors got paired up with the freshman buddy to run the three-legged race. As the gym teacher tied the rope around our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. Started running like a maniac down the football field with my gym pants still attached to him. That's how I got my other nickname, Birthmark Butt. Since then, we've been good pals despite it. Love that weird little guy. Look, you keep pestering me. Didn't I tell you I was waiting for someone? Uh, gotta be honest with you. I don't. I'm not. I ain't really waiting for anybody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical-like manner. But I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare the other gators off. But I was supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird. She looked real cool. Ugh, but anyways, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't get out much. It's so hard to just meet people in a non-weird way, you know? I wish I could just practice or something. Hey, wait a minute. That ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready when the real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you up as one of his weird, wild, and goose-like chases. But I ain't, affect I ain't got a lot of friends, to tell you the truth. So, um, maybe if you could help me practice, I could help you out too? What do you say, you wanna go on a fake date with Rusty Edge like me? Make him blushy by getting mushy. Mac the knife. Mac that knife. Take a lonely lizard out on a practice date. Click to decide where to go, what to do, and how you end the evening. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace, and you can help me out there. Of course. Oh god, my hand! Welcome to the hollowed halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youths. The kids are on break now, so it's only us lonely administrators. Me? I'm the lonely one. Incredible. You've played hot full boyfriend, now get ready for gator full boyfriend. If I didn't play hot full boyfriend years ago, that would be a game I'd definitely stream, but... Not, not today. Not today, buddy. I need a big favor from you. You see, I have a meet. I have a meet cute tomorrow, and I don't know what to do to say or feel. My friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. I'm not usually the blind date type, but she says she's he's really dreamy. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Broad shoulders. She says he has quite a cool cop. Quite ugh. I, I shouldn't do games that are all dialogue. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Broad shoulders. She says he's a cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the dojima to get my drift. Wonder what she told him about me. Ah, all this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like a strong, silent type, and you're cute enough that it imitates real life, that intimidates me just a little. Please, you gotta help me practice for the big date. I need a boost of confidence, and I need it now. Yay! I mean, um, cool, thanks. Karen arranged it all with my date. We're going on an adventure at first, then out to dinner. Then afterwards... Who knows? <laughs> Natural laughter! <laughs> so, uh, what kind of adventure would you like to take me on? Impress me. Fun day at the beach. Or fun day at the zoo, a trip to the beach. A nice stroll at the botanical garden. I'm not gonna lie, I have been wanting to go to the beach all summer, and because my country is a fucking trash fire, I haven't been able to do that. 
especially not in New Jersey because all the shitty people live around New, uh, the beach. So let's go there. Great, let's go. Well, come on. I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. The whole school is empty, don't worry. Hey, the beach is pretty nice this time of year. That's... Wait, I can't... I didn't read what he just said. I know it's not really the beach we're playing pretend, I remember? But it's only our first date. I didn't bring a towel or swim trunks or sunscreen. Plus, we're going to dinner later. Am I going to be all sandy at the restaurant? Oh, you're okay with walking along the boardwalk? Well, that's nice. My mystery date probably looks great in swim trunks, though. This is fine, actually. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like, with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch TV and TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not above staying in and getting cozy. But I think a first date should be really special, you know? Hmm, what's this? You brought me a present! But, but I didn't bring you anything! Well, that is a change of pace. Old-fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme! Nice flowers, yummy candy, a cute toy. Aw, oh, look at this, thank you! I'll have to find a nice place to put it. I love plushies, so... I'm getting a little hungry. Do you mind if we head to dinner? A reservation? Wow, you came prepared! And dressed to impress, I see. That shirt really brings out your eyes. Is that too much? I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. You're doing great, though. So where did you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Somewhere fancy, somewhere cozy, somewhere cool. Somewhere... I kind of like cozy, honestly. Mmm, quiet and intimate sounds nice. We'll, we, we'll really be able to get to know each other. <laughs> it's nice that you have a local place, too. I've been living in the city for five years, and I finally have my coffee place. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it was a big adjustment. The city's always moving. I was living across the river in Alligator, New Jersey back then. Please don't ask me about those dark times. Yeah, we don't talk about Alligator, New Jersey. That's where I live. There definitely weren't any cute snoots in Alligator Hoboken. Not like you. So let's head over to the restaurant. I don't live too far from Hoboken. That's like a uh, New Jersey, yeah. I, I live like about a... Um, 30-minute train ride right away, and that's with a transfer, so that counts wait time as well. Actually, less... No, it's about 30 minutes, because it's 20 minutes from here to uh, Newark. Train ride. I didn't say train wide. I don't talk like a baby. <laughs> um... No, but it is a train ride away from where I live. Um, it's a... 20 minute ride to the main st you said wide then correct oh I did oh I can't remember like 20 seconds ago because I talked too fast my brain doesn't work very well that's something you have to know about me oh this place is nice I like the decor that isn't too pretentious soba udon curry pasta curry pasta oh I oh my god I want curry pasta I don't have a brain you're doing better than me So, do you come here often? You're so right, I barely make it out of the house myself these days. I'm so happy to be here, meeting someone new. Psst, now's your chance, give me a compliment. Oh, these are all good compliments. I like scales, I also like tails. And I gotta be honest, those gator teeth are nice. I'm so happy you noticed. Teefs, it's been so long since I've been on a date that Karen took me out to get them polished. I'm not into being pampered usually, but now I'm glad I did it. And I could definitely get used to all the attention, especially from you. You know, your scales have a beautiful shine too. You must spend hours maintaining them. Yeah, you do look like you spend some time at the gym. Stop me if I'm being too forward, but I feel like I could really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. I mean, not a long while. It's just hard for me to meet other alligators. I don't do this very often. Stop laughing. This is precisely why I wanted to practice. What I'm trying to say is, I'm having a real good time with you. If you don't have any plans after dinner, want to come to the Spring Festival with me? You lived in Alligator for City... Uh, yeah. You lived in Alligator, New York City for how long and you've never been to the East River Spring Festival? Then you have to come with me. There's food, carnival games, and the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Flag down the waiter then. Let's get out of here. 
sorry I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in Alligator Jersey, my family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. No, no, I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time. What looks fun to you? Let's eat some festival food. Oh, no, thank you. I'm still full from dinner, but you go ahead. Trust me, if we hadn't just had that yummy dinner, I would be all over that funnel cake right now. Maybe if we're still here in an hour, I'll split a funnel cake with you. Haha, <laughs> stop it, you. Karen's the one who can't turn down a second dessert. Haha, <laughs> what a night. That guy in the bear costume, and all the pretty lights. You know, for a first-timer, you really seem to be warming up to the festival. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know with this kind of thing. I... I really wanted you to have a good time. To be honest, I wasn't sure I was even going to come out tonight. A lot of people are scared of me, would you believe? Me? It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night, showing up wherever, repeatedly challenging the same person to endless street brawls. Oh, you're getting too close, buddy. While slowly building up my reputation as a mad dog, I will fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all who stand in my way of my personal goals. He's doing the, uh, he's, he's talking about his namesake. Hey, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me, I know the perfect place to watch. What I tell you, the view from here is incredible, right? I... I had fun tonight, I hope you did too. For Karen's sake, I mean. She takes matchmaking very seriously. And she's been hounding me for months so I could finally meet you. Uh, why am I talking about Karen right now? Come on, just say the right thing. I guess what I'm really trying to say here is... I'm so glad I met you. You seem like a great person, and it was cool hanging out with you. We should do this again sometime. What? Why'd I fail? Great, how do you feel? Uh, that was kind of weird. Why'd I fail? It's probably because of that last choice. Because I was doing really good otherwise. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Oh, I love carnival games. Karen told me you were pretty competitive. Not like in a bad way. I'll tell you what, if you win me that big platypus doll, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward? Win the game first, buddy, then we'll talk. You know, for a first-timer, you're really warming up to the festival. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know what this kind of thing. I really wanted you to have a good time. Okay, yeah. I, I had fun tonight. Okay. I failed again. What? Great, let's go. Well, okay. We're, we're gonna do a different setting. OMG, you picked my favorite place in the whole city? You have good taste. Actually, you love all the big trees around the school. It's a nice piece of greenery in the big city, right? Sorry, I'm breaking character. Ahem, here we are at the imaginary botanical garden. Look at these beautiful peonies. I hope the roses are in season. Their bloom quality is to die for. Even the rock garden looks amazing. What? I think I look amazing too. That's so sweet of you to say. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like, with an itinerary. Okay. Maybe a cute toy isn't the right choice, either. Mmm, candy. Oh, shit. Any food thing is not good. Alright, cool looks proper. Why is there a gator that looks like Majima? Because that's that's who he is. Wait, re wait, look at the dialogue right here. 
lot of people are scared of me, would you believe? Me! It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night, showing up wherever, repeatedly challenging the same person to endless street brawls. While slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all who stand in the way of my personal goals. I'm playing later, alligator. Uh, this is a dating game that's in the game that's... I'm failing constantly. No, I ran out of time. Shit. I'll have to come back from some other time. Well, hey, you tried. No one could fault you for that. I'm destined to be the lone creep leaning on the jukebox, playing Steely Dan on repeat, and trying to look cool. Wait, why did I run out of time? Don't fail me now, Steely. You again? What, you want to try to sweep me off my feet again? Fine, just do it. I'm not blushing. Hey, is Majima. That's the whole point. Dude, you should have seen before. There was a guy I was trying to, um... I was trying to unhaunt his phone, and he had a holding of, like, fake anime screenshots on there, like... He had, like, the Jojo, like, the Dio Jotaro, uh, scene of them walking at each other, but it was them as gators. And then he had Gator Goku and Gator Spike Spiegel on his phone. Alright, I'm getting this badge now. Alright, so the Botanical Barden is- ga Barden? Botanical Garden is his favorite place. I've done this like five times now. So he doesn't want candy. What about the other option? Nice flowers? Well, wait, we're at the Botanical Garden, though. In this universe, his name is Bite Spiegel. And there's a guy named Cl uh, Claude... Claude Strife instead of Cloud Strife. That's good, though. Oh, no, he liked the flowers. Oh, they're lovely. Thank you. Karen didn't warn me I was going out with such a charmer. I'm getting a little hungry. Do you mind if we head to dinner? He's not reacting to that. The scales are so shiny. Oh, this is, I've been clicking on it so long, and also my hand... This, this hand is... Terrifying. Failed again. Jesus. Alright, I got it this time. This time I absolutely have it. I'm going to win him over and marry him. And then we're going to become head of the Majima crime family. Uh, botanical garden. Flowers. Somewhere fancy. Jay Snoots, the fanciest eatery in Alligator Brooklyn? I heard... Want me to Google this for you? Nah. I heard you need to call months ahead to get a table there. Oh gosh, I'm super underdressed for that place. Do you think the maitre d' is gonna judge me? Fuck! There's no way I can afford dinner there. Not on a public servant's salary. Do you mind if we go somewhere else? I just know some nosy Nancy's gonna get me kicked out for looking like a poverty. A poverty. I appreciate the gesture, but I feel so guilty and self-conscious. Fuck! Um, thanks? You have a nice smile, too. This is me role-playing in awkward silence. Come on, my date's gonna be more charming than that. I'm gonna pretend what you said was cute and move on. It is very frustrating how this is just trial and error. Okay, Carnival Game is the right choice for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've spent two hours tr going on a date with this dude.
Blah, 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 Botanical garden. Go. Move. Go. Get the fuck out. Nice flowers. Scales are so shiny. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, carnival game. Okay, is this right? Tonight was so special, and I really want to keep this going. Yes, I did it! If you don't mind me being a little old-fashioned, will you go out with me? Fucking... Finally. Wow, that was actually kind of freaking magical, if I'm being totes real with you. <laughs> wow, I really feel like I learned a lot, actually. Aw, oh, jeez. I feel kind of funny now, kind of flappy in my guts. Well, it must be that knuckle sandwich coming back to haunt me. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket. That said, I don't really know a lot about the event, but I know that I'll be there at least, on account of being invited by Pat's mom. Maybe we can hang out at the event, I mean. Not like outside of it, like it's a thing. <laughs> Natural laughter. Three PM. Oh boy. All right, I think I've taken care of everyone in here. I'll get out of here. There we go. All right, uh, I am done here. That just leaves 9th Street. Let's go to, uh, let's go back to the fun district real quick, though. Uh, I've already talked to her. I don't want to deal with her again. Fueling up the trolley. I knew I was forgetting something. Bugs and barters, you may just have saved this old trolley conductor's career. As for the event, I'll be transporting most of the family there myself on the trolley to help set things up. These things take a little time, you know. I'm sure you'll see when you get there. Thanks again for all the help. See, so isn't this your stop? Come back anytime you want. But I'm still missing puzzle pieces. Family history mystery. Okay. The Knife. Guidance Counselor. Age 33. Bobby Blue Eyes. Age 46. Occupation. Very busy. Very cool business guy. Tall Jared. Age 27. Occupation. Sun-blocking monolith. Aiden. Age 29. Occupation, stinky alley man and part-time dumpster diver. I guess you just don't find out about their parents. It's really weird that they're just there without anyone. Wait, there's someone older than them that you get on here? What the hell? Good old Clancy. Age 78. Occupation, beloved... Beloved? Beloved trolley car driver. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Uh, Pat. Nah, yeah, no, we're good. 
Okay, so this is the second checkpoint. That means essentially I've got the entire last one to go to that other area. There's Jobin. Another biohazard incident. Okay, he's got a shoe-related problem. We gotta do the haunted shoes, though. Uh, I'm gonna lose and see what happens. Also, why, why did he bring this with him into a hotel? So it's a match game. You have to find the shoe, and then you have to find the matching shoe. What do you think happened to my shoes and clothes and stuff? Are they haunted forever? Are ghosts wearing them? Is this actually a clothes donation bin for chili and or fashionable spirits? Well, I guess that last one wouldn't be so bad. It's not like I wear a lot of clothes anyways. Well, I'll text you again just before the event. See you later, I guess. Crocodile Cincinnati. I didn't realize you could mess with that. Ninth Street. I still haven't run into um, Alligator Aaron and, and Alligator Dan yet. Lols ran into them on like his first playthrough. I have a screenshot of them, but perhaps uh, later. To my new friend. Sometimes it's really hard for me to get my thoughts out through my snoot rather than on paper, as I'm sure you've already noticed. I really appreciate you taking the time to read this and the text I sent you, too. I know it must have seemed out of the blue to get them. Truthfully, I was just so lonely when I saw your number on a scrap of newspaper behind the cans here that I dialed, all, but all the information had been torn away. I don't know who you are, but I guess it's fair since you don't know who I am either. Uh, this is something else when I was watching Laws play through a part one today, um, or of, the, of his first cycle. You actually get texts about uh, Ninth, a Ninth Ave from someone, from that person who sends you, like, the help text, and she's like, or he, or whoever, they are like, yeah, come to Ninth Ave, I can meet you in person. And I didn't, I never got that. The thing is, I have not tried to talk to anyone else for such a long time. Not since Sarah passed away, really. She was all I had in the world, and all I needed, too. It's funny how sometimes you have everything, and then in an instant things change, and everything is different. Everything is sure different now without Sarah. I spent a lot of time not moving forward, actually, but talking to you today, telling you things about the city, really made me feel like I could try to. Like if I went out into the sun, it would still be there, even if Sarah wouldn't be. The kites would still fly with colorful tails, alligator Chinatown would still smell like baking chestnuts, and even the river would still be flowing, ever forward, just like time, and just like me. Thank you for not pushing a stranger like me away when I reached out to you. It meant more to me than you might ever know. Wishing you the best, your friendly city guide, Danny.
430. Two badges. Still missing nine puzzle pieces, though. Hey, buddy. You want to see something interesting? You look like an alligator of good taste. I could tell just by the very visible expression you're giving off. A gator of high caliber, a luxury few can afford. I may have just what you're looking for, my friend. You see this coat here? Nice, right? Got it at the Creeps Warehouse semi-annual sale. I have some interesting wares inside it, as well as my bus pass. Which is less interesting, but has a fun puffy sticker of a hot dog on it. But yes, my wares. Things you've never seen, things you may never see again. Things you wish you could see again, but can't because I'm busy doing laundry or watching TV shows about superheroes. You may be wondering, is he wearing clothes under there? And the answer to that is, sort of. But that's beside the point. Let's just call me Gary for now, yeah? Good old Gary. Trustworthy Gary. Gary ain't never hurt a fly. I mean, like, for sport. I always eat any fly I hurt. You know, circle of life for bug-eating alligators and all that. Pat? Pat the alligator? Yeah, I know him. We ain't family or nothing, but we took a pottery class together at the YACA. Nice guy. Kind of twitchy, though. We keep in touch on ICQ. Why did... Where, why did my voice go back to being, like, gangster there for some reason? Like... Of course, Gary knows all about the event. Gary knows about everything going on in Alligator New York City. Events, meet and greets, get-togethers, Jack and Jill baby showers. Gary knows all about that stuff. But Gary ain't no squealer. If you want info, you're gonna have to do a little something-something for me. So, would you... Look at my paintings. I'm trying to get into art college. It's always been my dream to draw pictures for a living and reside under the poverty line crying a lot. I've been practicing on my own, copying the old Gator Masters, but I just can't seem to get it quite right. If I show you the real painting of my forgery, could you paint, point, uh, could you put, 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 could you point out what I got wrong? It really helped me get some honest critique I could sob softly about later in my loft bed. So will you look through my portfolio? A novice is seeking constructive critiquing. Artist's Alley. I will pass on that for now. Harsh. Not even a like or reblog for Gary. Ninth Street Station hasn't been open to the public in a few years now. Not since the flooding unearthed the ruins of an ancient pizza rat society. They were already in the Iron Age and everything. I'm the only guy fixing up this place, or else it would probably have reopened a lot sooner. That's Mayor Wibbleyfin for you. Probably putting all your tax money into more hip-themed ice cream shops instead of Reuben over here. I don't mind being the only one working here. Can't say it gets lonely, what with the hum of the soda machine and the sounds of the Rat Forge, carpe pizza, and all that. Reuben could use a candy bar. Oh god, that's the great-grandparent, isn't it? Come closer. Yes, let me see your face. Oh god, she's still alive. You've made it so far to come here. Then again, I've learned that everywhere you go, that's the farthest you've ever gone. I'm as old as time itself. You are not ready to know the depths of my being. My great-grandson... Wait, what did she say? My great-grandson, fruit of my loins, fruit on the vine. She really cuts herself off there. Yes, let me see your face. You're not the ripple that grows within. It's fate that discourages you. Let the cards be your guide. Oh, God damn it! She's another card player, isn't she? To learn more, you must come closer. Sit and light the candle. Then again, I've... Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Then again, I've learned... Okay, she said the same thing she said before. You are not yet ripe. Wisdom... Whoa, whoa. Why? Oh, God. Heed her calls and smell mothballs. Oldest maid. Yeah, why not? We'll play that one. Face your future. Ah, see how the flame breaks the darkness. The light provides one new perspective of the time and space in which we are granted this fleeting moment together. I will deal the cards.
future is in your hands, young reptile. Choose. Hmm, that one on the right. You must be a fearless soul, but you should tread more carefully. Oh, this isn't an old, a game of old maid. Even your smallest actions make big waves. If you're not careful, you might just change the world. Hmm, a good second choice. When you're my age, you'll find comfort in randomness. It's fine to let fate guide your hand. Old crone. It's never too late to enjoy who you are. You've been true to yourself. Now celebrate. They say the last card is often the cruelest. Let's see. Brumation. This is a time of reinforcement and rebuilding, but worry not. Winter cannot last forever. What does it all mean? Nothing, perhaps. After all, you have been able to make your own destiny until now. You seem like a good egg. I hope your future is full of joy. Let an old lady give you something just for taking the time to stop by for a chat. May these words be a talisman you carry across your heart. is a lie. The present has promised change. The only constant. Weird, it just kicks you out, though. Okay, this doesn't change. So that's the last badge I need, but I'm not gonna get it now because you need another... You need to do a third cycle. Or you need to do a second cycle without getting every character for the second ending. Oda. Almost out of time. I just have to blow a couple, uh, a couple hours. Where are those last few puzzle pieces, though? Still missing some pieces again, it seems. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, well, we got a few. Something, something for the future. Okay. One, two, four, so I'm missing eight more pieces. Fuel up, bugs need, trolleys need bugs too. Remember, always remember to let everyone off. Apparently some puzzle pieces you can only get by look by talking to people at certain times, which is very, very frustrating. I might have to look up how to do that. But the thing is, once you're in the main part of the game, the characters don't change until the very end, so... Oh, my butt! Ow.
Who's that on the back of that? They weren't there before. Hide and sheesh. Aw, oh, shucks. Next time I'll have to hide in a better, more secrety place. One more. Aw, oh, shucks. Okay. You have to let him win. Looks like I'm not as good as hide and seek as I thought I was. Anyway, thanks for playing with me. I guess I'll have to do something less wholesome, like listening to rock music or taking up vaping. I've crushed that poor boy's soul. I got an hour left. Supposedly there's an achievement for seeing... Aiden... in this girl's, uh, thing. Because this is her sister. His sister. What? It did that last time, too, if the first one just jumps. Whoop. Of that music. Uh, it's like whatever's slightly on the screen at the time is what it, what it counts as. See that one before? Oh, that's me and Aiden on National Siblings Day. I can remember this hangout such so clearly. Probably because smell is so tied to memory. Uh oh. This game isn't what you thought. Yeah, no, it isn't. Damn it! Didn't want that. No! Oh, I fucked up. It's a collection of mini games. It's like, um,. It's like late Professor Layton meets, uh, alligators. Alright, wait, what's this one say? Wibbly Finn sucks eggs. Thought it was point and click. Well, it is point and click. I mean, you point and click to talk to people. It's considered point and click. Haha, <laughs> eat it, Wimbly Finn. I, vo I voted for Bumble Doof. At least she had a stance on alligator healthcare reform, now not just a platform of more sci-fi themed escape rooms. Uploading and posted. You're not seeing any of the point and click stuff because I already played through most of that last night and most of this is repeating. She's cute. Yeah, no, I've, I've already played cards with you. I'm not in the mood. Why not the problem? Bring it up, I gave Hip your telegram info, so you want to talk to me about what we've been talking about lately, wink wonk. Uh, yeah, I think he just actually contacted me. Um, let him know, well, yeah, hold on. Mm. Oh, fine, you were going to stare at my cards anyway. Vamoose! I like this alligator. He's a good alligator. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're good. Alright, time for the second ending. Ah! I clicked so hard that the window broke. Oh, he, bro he, took, he takes the shoes out anyway. This 
game was annoying. I mean, it was fun the first time, but now it's gonna, if I don't get there quickly, I'm gonna be annoyed. Bub is a good boy. Yeah, he is. Bub is the best boy. His girlfriend picks him up, apparently. Literally. And he also named the special, the house special, uh, Ancient P. Oh yeah, and he's gay. Um, I think we might have walked in on something sensitive. Wait, no, he has a girlfriend. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is... I thought, I thought that was a guy. Oh, interesting. Never mind then. Because he mentions his girlfriend is picking him up, so... This game is very adorable. Yeah, it is. That was either an intense Halloween decoration or proof that life persists beyond this mortal coil. Either way, I'm not really happy about it. She's just butch. I mean, it's possible. I mean, that's probably what the case is. I, th huh. I could have swore though. Whatever. Because you meet him. You meet. Uh, you meet. You meet that character. I can't remember that character's name. Manny. I don't know. Okay, I'm yet again lost as to where I need to go. Uh... Oh, that, there we go. I forgot about the path down there. I don't think I've ever fully explored down here. Like, I've never run into him. Marty! Please, anything but Marty! Marty was, um, he was part of another, you don't meet him, he's part of another minigame. Where his, you're, you help Pat's dad with the grill, and, uh, Marty pops out of it, and, and the big thing that comes up that says, Are we unaware of the dude behind us? The guy walking behind us? That's me. That's my character. There's just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in the pitch black, pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. Did you see it move? I think I saw it move. I think I've seen every interaction in this now. Yeah, the person I've been playing as the, the whole game is is the shadowy figure, dude. What well, Mandy? I ask what he's doing here, but he's attracted to spotlights like a moth that smells like hair gel. Yeah, yes, it was. It's the same people. And look, almost everyone is here. I didn't get to read any of these dialogues last time, too, so... Happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. You smell like an alligator. And that is unsuspicious and correct. This is the worst party I've ever been to. It's simply dreadful. Even worse than last year's. Even worse than the rap party for the Gucci modeling shoot I did. Uh, Batman and Piderman actually show up in one of the games, and there's an achievement if you, uh, can get both of them in the same, uh, they're like a claw machine. Even worse than the release party where they found my ex-boyfriend with house DJ music. <laughs> Even worse where they found the, my ex-boyfriend, the house music DJ, run through with a claymore. I for sure wasn't anywhere near there, of course, but how awful. Simply dreadful. Hi, right, birthday party, I'm dead. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> ah, yeah, that did you good there, champ. Now go eat some cake. Agu. 
worst birthday ever. Mercy, it's been a dog's age since I've been to a swinging shindig. You know of any? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mostly. On my way over, I passed that abandoned Miss Hoopledoom's home for spooky 1800s children with coughs. And wouldn't you know what? My phone stopped working again. All it does now is sing Ring Around the Rosie in a slow, haunting manner and try to order a stick and hoop with my credit card. Sup, old and moldy? You down for another heist? Sorry to pull you back in the game, but with a cake like this, how can you resist one last score? Interesting, when I watched Laws play at this typo where it says you twice was here, but it was also spaced differently. So they f changed the spacing, but they didn't fix the typo. Cake! 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 I'll eat anything with the word cake in it. Pancake, birthday cake, cheesecake, yellow cake, kaboom! Cake. Having to sit still for this long is harder than that time I did a squat-a-thon my pants split due to my meaty glute offshoot. At least then I got new yoga pants and raised a hundred dollars for guys without thighs. An important organization, bro Yoko. Look at his swole bird friend. Hello, star child. May I interest you in a flyer for my upcoming crystal yoga class? We're going to stand on our heads and really give it some quartz. It's also going to be free pizza. In the dumpster outside Italian Tony's cheese circles. Like, Bellissimo, or whatever. Yeah, they only have one bit of dialogue right now. Uh, good evening and good morrow, friend. What an auspicious sign that we have crossed paths one mo once more. Perhaps we have some unknown star, deigned connection, or you really want to read my zine about cool wizards. Check it out, I have a whole chapter dedicated to Totap... Totapak... Totap... The Groovy. I don't know how to read that. Oh, I'm so proud of my Patrick. He didn't threaten a coat rack with a shadow stapler, a coat rack shadow with a stapler, or jump out a window, or dump the punch bowl in the toilet thinking it was poison. This is already going so much better than his birthday last year. Hey there. I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. Pet's scared of the dark, and hallways, and parties, come to think of it. It usually doesn't end as well as this, is what I'm saying. You guys should have seen the look on your faces when you came in. I took like a thousand pics. Pat looked like he was going to die or something, lol. Hold on, I'm totally live vlogging this. Hey, thanks for what earlier. I ended up canceling that date, but not because I was nervous anymore. I was actually kind of wondering if, uh, um, you were free? You know, maybe we could go to a real restaurant or like, curl some hot dog buns at Fat Seagulls down at Alligator Coney Island. Uh, no, no pressh. I'm gonna lose my ARP discounts being up this late. They take a hard look at your benefits if you do too much staying up past 8 or rollerblading. I am not giving up my Tuesdays at Roller World. Hey, put her there, old pally. It's time for an old fashioned handshake. Just ignore the snail trail. I'm told it's full of vitamins and helps with the drying. And that it comes out of my limbs and leaves you crying. Oh! Hey, where you going? Tell anyone what you saw earlier, and I'll break your kneecaps into enough pieces that the old maids can play Mahjong. And thanks. Much gratitude for the help earlier, youngin. Thanks to you, the only doghouse I'm sleeping in these days is a metaphorical one. It's made of two twin beds pushed to opposite sides of the room. My dad said dentist's IRA was getting a little too literal for me, and so I got grounded for soda, from soda for a billion years. Now I'm only allowed to have this fizzy fruit lacroc, which is just carbonated water that a lemon sneezed in or something. I already miss the sweet, sweet chemical burn of Dr. Soda pickling my small internal organs. Oh, oh, hi again. You found me. <laughs> Thanks for always playing. Next time I'll look for you. I knew I saw something special in you, but your time is not yet over. Do what you must, but must you do? There is still a chance to set things right. What that means. Alright, you could look at my cards, but don't go around telling everyone you meet about it, of Tipeesh. If they knew I let you look at my cards, every girly Lou and Bobsy who's a dude would, come, would be coming over here trying to get a peep. Don't let the greater public masses look at my cards. 
Horace and I have come to an understanding of sorts, wherein he remains dead and courteous and I don't call in a priest or buy more poisons wholesale. That's kind of it. I don't think there's any more puzzle pieces hidden here. I'm so happy! I wasn't getting rubbed out, I was getting birthday clout! It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. I'm going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it really meant so much to me. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on, everything is ready for the photo. Except for you! Follow me. And now you get to, uh, you get to make your gator. You get to choose what you look like. I already did this last time, so it was already set, but, uh... We could scroll to a couple options here. I like that head, though. Something a little greener. All the teeth options are set per gator head. Oh, you could choose bow tie or necktie. Everyone's there. Congratulations. So there's more people you get, the more people show up in the photo. Well, if I'm in front of Pat, though. Oh, this, yeah, this is different. Finish the job. Uh oh. Why, though? Why would I do that? That scene wasn't there the first time I did this. It just goes back to the beginning. So, dear Pat was right. His life was in danger through, through here on this night. Not from family, but stranger. Is this how it ends? With birthday boy gone splat? You may still make amends, and you may yet still save Pat. So there's the, the the first ending where it's just the birthday party, the second ending where I apparently kill him, and now uh, we get to do the third ending where I, I guess I save him. I'm gonna finish this tonight. Wow, which means I could probably start something new tomorrow, or take tomorrow off. I don't know yet. second. You kill him? Yeah, apparently I kill him. I pushed him- you just saw me push him off the- the, the thing. Alright, well I'm missing seven puzzle pieces and a badge. A family badge. I missed that. I looked away for a second. Yeah. After the party was done, I went out on the balcony and I just pushed him off. Because it was uh, my job. It was what I was hired for, apparently. It said, finish the job. So I finished it. Yeah, I know. I know, I am apparently a murderer. Where are those last few pieces?
Right, yeah, we've already talked to him. Uh, let's just scroll past all this. Yes, 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 we'll look at the paintings. Artist's Alley. Spot the difference between the original painting and Gary's forgery. Click on each difference you find. Click on Gary to switch between paintings. Some of these dudes look like Nessie's characters Nessie would design. You think so? They're nowhere near as detailed. This is a very flat-looking game. First, I'm going to show you a beautiful painting. When you've seen enough, click me to see the other painting. That's also very good. Switch back and forth as many times as you like. When you spot a difference, click on it. But if you get three wrong, my feelings are really going to be hurt. Ready? Let's go. Original. Wait, what? How do I, uh... Oh, there we go. Forgery. I have to see what's different between the two. She draws toothy fellows really well. Yeah, she does. Wait, what? Why did it select that? Alright, I just tap. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I clicked out of the window again. Shit. It keeps happening, dog. last difference. Wasn't it, like, right around here? I'm, like, looking really closely here and I'm missing it. Am I missing? Hold on. Burb. It's not that. Uh, is it? It's here. The teeth. Amazing. You have the eye of a true artiste. But that was my earlier work. Can you spot the differences during growing Gary's tri triptych period? Here's the original. And the fake. Color? No, it doesn't the same. I don't like this game very much. It's annoying because you can't see both of them at the same time. There's gotta be one different on the other side.
handle. Incredible. Are you ready to see my newest piece? Well, obviously, that's different. That stands out like a sore thumb. The heart's not there in the original. Sorry about that. Uh, scroll. Nothing about the scroll. Ooh, cloth is different. Nope, cloth is not different. Two red things at the bottom. Nope, what about that cane? That's not different. There's still three differences here. Pattern. Look at the pattern. The code, Alex, the code. Dipping really far into Vinny territory right there. Uh the hell what else could be wrong here? Two more differences somewhere. Face is different. There we go. Probably the cloth in the corner? Nope. Those are all the same. Both the same. I keep thinking I'm seeing something, and then every time I look back, it's like... It's nothing. Hair? Maybe? Hair? No, but it's the same. It's just the same. I don't know where this last difference is. I'm like looking at everything here. I have to like start looking at every fucking pixel now. Ugh. There it is. Fucking found it. it. Was the things in the uh the sleeve? Thank you for all the feedback. I can't wait to incorporate it into my next painting series. You know, I was thinking of switching over to drawing cartoons. But you really convinced me to stay the course on painting and not throw my life away. Gary feels a new lease on living. Event? Oh, right, right. The event. Truthfully, it's my first professional gig. Drawing the invitation and all. 
Pat's Ma even paid me ten whole dollars for it, which is five dollars higher than my listed online commission prices. Gary's really moving up in the world. Anyway, friend, looks like I'll be seeing you tonight. Till then, watch yourself. That's all family badges. Now, where are all the rest of the puzzle pieces? Also, I haven't been contacted you. Oh, no, I have, actually. I was gonna say, I haven't been contacted yet, but I think the contact by text uh, carries over. Wait a minute, there was, um... Hmm. Interesting. There's one. Interesting. This is the first time I've ever seen a reaction like cause a new puzzle piece to appear. Something has something for your the future. How can you nurture them? Age BC occupation to be unending and absolute. Big Mama. Gary the Nose, age 53, occupation, popular at comic book conventions. We did it! Except for that circle, which has been erased for some reason. Wow, you got everyone! How wonderful! It's so rare I get to see all these faces in one place without some kind of casket involved. You did an amazing job. I'm so proud that you're friends with my Patrick. Thank you again. See you tonight. <laughs> One free tomato soup. Best in Alligator, New York City. I didn't really look at that coupon before. again. Uh, this, this long sequence. I don't know if finding all the puzzle pieces is worth it, but if it is, I'll definitely go for it. Again, nine one six one nine. Yeah, this is pretty much like, at this point, it's pretty much just me skipping through everything. Oh, look, there's a gator up there now. Or, not, not now, there's just one there.
da 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 Okay, we're back here again. Oh my, you're back already. Oh, she doesn't do anything different. Let me see what the puzzle pieces are. Because at this point, I've found most enough that I'm like, okay, whatever. Train route above the door. Tra okay, I got that. Fun district hotel sign that reads, click up and drag up and down. Rodega in the bathroom. Okay, let's let me get my screen up for this. We're getting those puzzle pieces, baby. Arcade Vampire Punter Arcade Machine Controls. Got that. Exhaust dialogue with Artie, the alligator behind the curtain, second ski ball machine. I did that already. Prize inside the claw machine, okay. Beat Joni's pinball minigame, I already did that. Mine doesn't always showed up. It showed up on round three for you. Oh, that's terrible. My dad says I'm not supposed to have too much candy because I get hyperactive and prone to fits of father pinching. But I think he just likes keeping it all for himself. What you want? Oh, the seashell, probably. But instead, I got the scissors. Actually, not supposed to use these without my dad around. wear jewelry yet. I'm like 8 or 10 or something. What the hell is that? Wow. Dirt. Stop. Oh, that's not what she wanted. What did she want, then? We have 10 copies of this, including the holographic variant cover. Gators. 
Hmm. Bad news, old timer. That was my very last quarter. Oh ho! Get any present you want. What's that key for? OMG, this is going to be just like the secret garden. Or the time I stole the lady down the street's car car carabiner to break into her house and pet her smooch-faced cat pepperoni. You know, one of those two. Big diamond. Okay, she wants the big diamond. She wants the big b b b diamond. What is that note over there? My dearest Fifth William, I cannot help my mind wandering to the softness of your scales or the sharpness of your teeth. Um, gross? This is actually too PG-13 for a PG-aged galligator like me? Fifth William is the guy outside the arcade who's, like, staring at the flower sign. <laughs> Ah, it like boop, boop. candy. Wow, how did I win this on my first try? say diamonds are a girl's best friend, so I'm looking forward to getting deep into some alligator settlers of Catan with this baby. There's the puzzle piece. Yep, she wants the cloud doll. There's, um, there's Spider-Man. There's two Spider man There's no Batman there. There's Batman in the corner. There's an achievement for getting both of them in the same round. But I really, just really, just really want that fucking puzzle piece. I don't care about winning the game. And I don't care about the achievements. No. Well, I've already outgrown my crystal phase. My anime phase is more powerful. Oh, I'm not getting that. That sucks. They had to put it at, like, the very bottom. Oh, wait! Oh, come on! Ah! Oh. Do me dirty like that. What'd she say she wanted shit? Uh... Maybe I'll get lucky. This is so uncute that I just think a lost piece of my- I just lost a piece of my childhood wonder. I may never experience true unfettered joy again. Which one do you want? Oh, it's the crystal. I'm still into these even though the anime era of my youthful phase is already way overtaking crystal and horse girl stuff. She really wants that cloud. Uh... Also, peace! Yes! You can have this. I get the feeling it'll come in handy later. Nope, we're going for- we're going for Baman and- and P Piderman. Uh, 
Eh. I got something else. It's not what I asked for, but a girl needs a backup in case her father mistakes accessories for snacks again. Those lazy, er those ladies at urgent care were so nice. She reacted very positively to that. That was bullshit. I want one of them, please. I mean, if I don't get the achievement, I just want one of them. I was denied. I failed too many times. Guess I'll have to explore the library or take part in the musical sports team to pass time. Uh. Alright, well, I got that. Beat Joni's pinball minigame, already did that. Alright, let's get out of here. Hotel sound that reads drag, click up and down. Bro Dega sign in the background, I got that one already. Flower above the balcony staring at you. You have to click and drag upwards as the hotel sign suggests. Oh. Mailbox night only, night only, night only. I think I got all those. Arcade, hotel, Tower of Cups. Already got that one. Left table after Pat calls you to unlock his room. Left chandelier. I think I got that one as well. Talk to Nervous Dairy after Pat calls you about shoes. Beat the shoe minigame. Already did that. The cake at the party. Already did that. Oh, my screen isn't pulled far enough. Memorial Park. Tree grows in Alligator, Brooklyn. And yet I still haven't run into Aaron. Aaron and and and, and Daniel. Also, I'm sorry if, if someone's saying something. I can't see my uh chat. Crying brown bri cry, crying brown, crying bridge statue, already got that. F crying fountain statue, oh my god. Bridge, got it. Eat emergency sign, got it. Very top of the gazebo. Oh, the... It, it, really? Really? Okay. Exhaust dialogue with Teresa after Pat calls you to unlock his room. We have to exhaust her dialogue before as well. Maybe I already did that one, I don't know. Four pieces left. Drain, I think I already went in there. Trash bags, already looked in there. Very adult bar sign. Very adult bar. Already did sippy cups. Exit. Already did that. Left bathroom. Already did that. One of the bar stools. Already did that. That was the one right there. Clock. Exhaust dialogue with Sal. Get it when you go in. Yeah, I already got that one. I know I got that one. And I know I got the Sal one as well. Oh, this is different. Wendy Carlos is a composer and pioneer of synthesizer music. When she was in college in the late 1950s and into the 1960s, electronic music was an academic curiosity. But all that would change when Wendy met Robert Moog, the inventor of the first commercial synthesizer. Wendy gave advice and tech support to Robert while he developed his keyboard-based synth. In 1968, Wendy used a hand-built Moog synthesizer to perform Switched On Bach, the first classical album to sell over a million copies. 
After the unexpected success of that, Wendy's career skyrocketed. She was invented to score she was invited to score Stanley Kubrick's A Cockwork Orange and worked with him again on the soundtrack to The Shining. While living and working in Manhattan, Wendy collaborated closely with her producer and roommate Rachel Elkind, or Elkind, I don't know how to pronounce that name, whose vocoder performances appear on several of Wendy's tracks. Rachel came up with ideas for several of Wendy's albums, and Wendy would fight vigorously for her credits and other works, including her credit as co-composer of The Shining. When Rachel moved away to France, Wendy converted a loft into a brand new studio, which was enclosed in a Faraday cage to protect her recording equipment from outside noise. It was here, in 1982, that she composed the soundtrack to Tron. It was one of the first soundtracks that continuously blended analog and digital synthesizers with the symphonic orchestra. Wendy's ability to bring timber to synthesize sounds, as well as her work using alternate tunings and scales, are trademarks of her composition, and helped her create all new music that could still mesh with classical and orchestral work. And that's so awesome! The music of Wendy Carlos helped elevate the synthesizer from in-home toy or university curiosity into the sphere of professional composition. Her music career continued well into the 2000s when she remastered and released several of her unpublished recordings, including, including several unused songs for The Shining, Clockwork Orange, and Tron. Clock. Already got clock. Exhaust dialogue with Sal. Yeah, okay. I near Nanaru shop, trash bin near shop. Uh, I think I got the one from the trash bin. I think I got the one in the eye. Left window on the rightmost building. Got that one. Complete Papuli's sliding minigame legitimately. Yes, I did that. Exhaust dialogue with Sleepy Pants in after a pack calls you unlocked his room. Might have to talk to him before this as well. <sighs> That's prob. Those two are probably the ones I didn't get. Matryoshka dolls, where are those? Over here. I apparently got that one already. Cash register. Didn't get that one. Swords and the safe. Safe, apparently I got. Swords I got. Lamp. Mirror. Typewriter. Didn't get the typewriter. Forty-six. Yep, the only two I'm missing are those two at the beginning that I can't get by- that I need to talk to people to get. That sucks, that means I have to start another c uh, cycle, but whatever. What's a quick game that I could lose constantly? These four. Alright, I think other than that I've finished the game at this point, I just need to get to the end one more time. Oh no, this one's not quick. You have to wait for this to end. Let's just listen to this lovely lady sing for a bit.
It's a good one. It's easy to fail. Okay, no, this one. This one's good. I think this one you could fail pretty quickly. I've been streaming for almost three hours, so I really want to close this up. Only I can award zero stars for this cruelly and needlessly sneeze of supernatural chicanery. Oof, boop. I understand she doesn't think you're the person to do this, and yet she gets angry when you can't contact spirits. run in this game. Let me try something, actually. Wait, let me just, uh... Maybe I could... Maybe after the second call-in phase, I can, uh, do this. I've exhausted his dialogue. So all he gives you is a puzzle piece. He doesn't actually have a, uh, a game associated with it. all this. So my question is, if my dude was meant to kill Pat, why isn't he just doing that now? A shoe. Don't get sucked into the black hole. in the top two rows at all. There's one. And there's the other. Peruse for shoes. Soul searching. I don't think I read that because it doesn't pop up normally.
No, 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 old lady, I don't want to play your card game. She tells you that if you look at her cards, you'll, you'll rapidly age like she does. Man, being asleep is the best. So glad I'm asleep right now. Really asleep, 100%. Oh, it did work, nice! I was like, maybe just waiting until the third uh, segment would have the same effect. Cool, let's go to Memorial Park. Get the last one. You again? Seriously, go away. Shoo! I said shoo! Please, I don't have anything for you. Please, I only have one thing for you. Oh, just take it. Yes, thank you. There, are you happy now? Rude. I am happy. That's everything. I've gotten it all. I'm great. I'm amazing. Let's play, finish this. In there, in there, in there, in there. A trolley has aspirations for the future. How can you nurture them? Win! Hey, that's all, it's all three restored. The trolley problem. Hmm, on the back of the last one was some text, too. Alligator.fun slash puzz prize. I wonder what that means. Well, let's find out. Thank you kindly for your help, young gator. You really helped an old man like me from a fate worse than dog. Let us pull up the browser yet again, and let's see, no, what the, what this prize is, Puzzle Pro, thank you Pat. I appreciate this, and I deserve it. I'm worth it. Did that actually show up on my capture? I hope it did. I hope the full screen showed up. Uh, one second. There we go. Alright, well, we have now finished everything. I just need to, uh... I just need to pass the time until 7. And we get to finish the game. Noticed how deranged those booklets are. Do the trolley a few times. It takes 15 minutes, I think, per trolley ride.
I just want to see if there, if I can, if I get blessed by the, uh, the guest. I like that gator. The gator that was sitting here before that looked straight at you was the best, though. Let's be honest. There's apparently some way... There's apparently some way to turn him to stone or something? Like, you could see a, see a statue of him in, uh, in someone's... ...pictures, but I don't know how that works. This is an achievement. That's the gator I was talking about, oh my god. <laughs> Where- how do I get to my home, my collections? There we go. Wrong option. See Aiden's stone form in Lizzie's photos. I wonder how you get to that. That's, I wonder what kind of photo that is. Look at him. Look at him. Poke. Finally there. All right, time to end this. final cycle has revealed itself. Oh, that's weird. I don't, I don't think I've ever gone down that path. No, it's following me! I should have never bought that dresser from Nana Roo. That deal was just as scary as its obvious possession. He wears the party hat over his regular hat. None of these characters have anything anything different to say, I believe. Yep. Where's uh he sure is. He's the only other guy who wasn't here. Thanks to you, I got into the community college's liberal arts program. Can't wait to disappoint my parents in untold ways. Let's talk to Majima one more time. Let me date you, for real.
Why not? Let's go happy with the last one. Yeah, everyone's here. Welcome to the family, it says. Now, instead of congratulations. Alright, so are we going to see the real ending now? The next morning, Pat invites you to his house for tea. Wait, what? But didn't I push him off? Okay, well, there we go. Wow, I can't believe you were a hitman that had a change of heart at the last second and pulled me up to safety. I especially can't believe I accidentally hired my own hitman to kill me on my own birthday. Wait, what? And now you're here at my house for tea. What an increasingly large pool of unlikely circumstances congregating. Really, though, you won't believe how this all happened. Why, it was just last week when I made that fateful phone call. I am the one who could kill any guy you need. Call me for murder or help. Leave a detailed description of who you want me to rub out. Call 555-0118. I am ill, guys. Need me help. Leave a detailed description of who you is. Oh my gosh, I have to help. Oh, the... the Stuff covered it. Bachelor of Hit Gator Sciences. Hi. Pat is four feet tall with two actual feet. Cool hat. Great bandana from Alligator, New York City. Birthday on the 16th. I hope you feel better. I love you. Bye. Aw. I still can't believe I was the one who hired you. I guess it serves me right, always being scared of someone out to get me. Truly, the only one out to get me in the end was me. Whoa. That's like, super mondo deep deep. I defo gotta tell Dr. Duplesnoot about this breakthrough next Tuesday. Anyways, all I could say is cheese and crackers. I'm glad you have a heart of gold in there. And arms of gold, which to, with which to save a falling gator. Oh hey, Rumi. This is the hitman I accidentally hired to rub me out. Can you believe I did that? It is not hard to believe it was you all along. Your brain is like a sieve, and you're doing, and you're kind of a ding-dong. I hope you liked meeting my whole family. You did so much for all of them. I bet they'll want to throw you a surprise party next time. Hey, I know. Would you guys want to take a quick photo together? This has been the most stressful birthday I've ever had, and I want to remember that stress forever. And probably will, in therapy. Oh, look at us, all friends, all not getting rubbed out or hiding in their favorite hotel rooms. So ends our tale at the hotel, with friendship, nothing greater. And so I bid you farewell, and see you later, alligator. Mandy, you said it! You said the thing! I said the thing! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah, great. Super good. The end. You can go outside now. That was fun. That was a very fun game. I'm glad I played it. It was I got two whole streams out of it. Did everything. Had a lot of fun. Enjoyed every bit of dialogue. Jumped over, uh, tripped over my dialogue, tripped over my speech a lot. Just like I did there twice. Met some cool characters. It was a fun time. Uh, I'm sad that I waited so long to play this, honestly. I was waiting for the Switch version, but since it's so far off, apparently, I didn't, I figured why, I might as well do it now while I have time.
There's just really nothing left, huh? And that's that's the game. That's later alligator. Uh, I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun, and uh, I'll be uploading part one. Will be up tomorrow, and the rest will be up real soon. Oh, it actually just closed the window completely. Uh, yeah, but that'll be it for tonight. What a well-timed game! It ended like almost perfectly three after six hours. Um, that'll be for tonight. I was thinking of maybe taking tomorrow off and then coming back Saturday or Friday with uh, Smash, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I, a one week from tomorrow, uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered comes out, and that's gonna be, like, my next main game. So I have kinda, like, four streams before then, if I stream every day. We'll see what happens. Um, I have another game planned that I could probably beat in four streams, so we'll, uh, we'll see. I might stream tomorrow, otherwise I might be back Friday. Uh, thank you for coming. You'll have a great evening. If you're looking for more streams, uh, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Uh, there's some good people there. And uh, I will see you either tomorrow or Friday. Good night.